find a power series solution of the initial value problem x square minus 1 d2y dx square plus 3x dy dx plus xy equals to 0 with y0 equal to 4 and y dash 0 equals to 6. This is the initial condition for the when x is equal to 0, y value of y is 4 and y dash derivative of y dy dx is equal to 6 when x equal to 0. So, solution for this problem, the given equation, given equation can be written as y double dash plus 3x by x square minus 1 into y dash plus x by x square minus 1 into y equals to 0. Uh, we divide on both sides by x square minus 1. So, this 3x by x square minus 1 and x by x square plus x square minus 1 into y. And this equation is called equation 1. Here, here P1x is equal to 3x by x square minus 1. This is the coefficient of y dash. And P2x is the coefficient of y that is equal to x by x square minus 1. So, normalized form is this y dash plus p1 y dash y double dash plus p1 y dash plus p2 pi is equal to 0. Normalized form. So, here p1 p1 x is equal to the coefficient of y dash that is dy dx and coefficient of y is called p2 and so this is the p2 x is equal to x by x square minus 1. The function the functions p1 and p2 are analytic analytic this that is differentiable everywhere uh, analytic except except at x equal to plus minus 1 because this x square uh, in this denominator uh, is uh, term is x square minus 1 so when x square minus 1 equals to 0 so you get uh, x equal to plus minus 1 so uh, this this term um, except analytic except these points so x equal to 1 and x equal to minus 1 are the singular points here so thus all points thus all points except except x equal to plus minus 1 are ordinary point ordinary points for the differential equation 1 for the differential equation 1 now we assume Uh, solutions of one of one in the form in power switch form this y equals to summation n equal to 0 to infinity cn x minus x0 whole to the power n and for any x0 for any x0 equal not equals to plus minus 1 this is the uh, for solution power series solution form where c is constant and x0 not is equal to plus 1 or minus 1 however however since the initial value 
initial values of y and its first per partial derivative first sorry first derivative first derivative derivatives are prescribed prescribed at x equals to 0 here mm, here mm, as y 0 equals to y 0 equals to 4 and y dash 0 equals to 6 so so both the conditions uh, are given at the point x equal to 0 we shall choose x0 equal to 0 so this is the uh, ordinary point obviously and we seek the solutions solutions in powers of x in powers of x so here put his x equal to 0 so this cn x to the power n thus the above series solution uh, becomes so y equal to this summation cn x to the power n n can from n is equal to 0 to infinity so this is called 2 so in this problem uh, the in this problem uh, uh, we want to uh, here is uh, not nothing uh, specified point here uh, to so we choose here the uh, we see the solution about the point x equal to 0 is the ordinary point here so this differentiating term by term Uh, 2 we get y dash equals to summation 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 n c n x to the power n minus 1 and n running from 1 to infinity why so first this series can be written as c0 x to the power 0 that is c0 plus c1 x plus c2 x square plus c3 x cube so if y is equal to this then y dash is equal to this constant term this is equal to 0 so this term first c1 plus 2 c2 x plus 3 c3 x square so uh, for y dash uh, term terms are counted from n is equal to 1 n is equal to c1 so when put n is equal to 1 you get uh, 1 c1 x to the power 0 x to the power 0 is, is equal to 1 so starting from c1 so we here um, variable starting from n is equal to 1 to infinity so this is the 1 to infinity in this and y double dash equals to so uh, here uh, this y double dash equals to here c1 constant so starting from this 2 c2 plus 2 into 3 c3 x and plus dot 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 plus dot 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 so this, is this term starting from 2 so this so summation this derivative this n into n minus 1 into c n x to the power n minus 2 and this n starting from 2 this 2 to infinity so this y double less starting from n is equal to 2 here so put here 2 so 2 2 minus 1 1 c2 x to the power 2 minus 0 that is x to the power is 1 so 2c2 so when put here n is equal to 2 so you get 2c2 and put n equal to 3 you get this term 2 into 3 c3 into x so now uh, put these values of y dash and uh, y double dash in one and substituting this in one we get So, uh, in equation 1, we get this uh, simply x square minus 1 into y double less. So, y double less is this summation n n minus 1 
into c n x to the power n minus 2 n is equal to 2 to infinity this x is coming to y double less value of y double less plus plus uh, 3x 3x into y dash so y dash value of y dash is this n c n x to the power minus 1 starting from n is equal to 1 to infinity so n equal to 1 to infinity n c n x to the power n minus 1 and last term is plus plus x into y so here y starting from n is equal to 0 to infinity c n x to the power n equals to 0 so uh, multiply first x square so from this to get first term is this x square and to this term so x to the power n minus 2 plus 2 so this is equal to x to the power n so from first term from first term this equal to uh, sum is sum n into n minus 1 n is equal to 2 to infinity c n x to the power n minus 2 plus 2 that is equal to x to the power n for x square and this term minus this 1 into this term so this is equal to minus summation n is equal to 2 to infinity n n minus 1 c n into 1 into this so as it is x to the power n minus 2 n minus 2 and from the this term 3x into this so get plus 3 into summation here n is equal to 1 to infinity this x into x to the power n minus 1 so you get n plus n minus 1 plus 1 so this is equal to x to the power n so n c n x to the power n multiply x uh, with this term and equate this and the last term from the last term x into this so this summation starting from n equal to 0 to infinity uh, c n and x x to the power n so you get x to the power n plus 1 is equal to 0 so here term is starting from x to the power n here x to the power x to the power n n equal to 2 here x to the power n minus 2 and here x to the power n x to the power n plus 1 so now we want to uh, uh, um, same uh, all the terms same in powers of x to the power n so here x to the power n minus 2 here x to the power n plus 1 now uh, one, 1 2 here x to the power n in place of n minus 2 so uh, for the second term for the second term uh, so we put for the second term now for the second series that is second term second term is this here so this is equal to summation n equal to 2 to infinity n equal to 2 to infinity n into n minus 1 into c n x to the power n minus 2 second term is this so uh, put here n minus 2 is equal to m so put here m equal to m equal to n minus 2 so when m equal to n minus 2 so here uh, m m n equal to m equal to n minus 2 so n minus 2 is equal to 0 so here m starting from 0 because n is equal to n is equal to m plus 2 so when n is equal to 2 n is equal to 2 m is equal to 0 put n is equal to 2 so m is equal to 0 so when n starts from 2 so m starts from 0 so summation in terms of m equals to 0 you put here n, n is equal to 2 n is equal to 2 so you get m is equal to 0 this infinity uh, n is equal to in value of n in terms of m that is equal to m plus 2 and put this m plus 2 minus 1 so m plus 1 and c n n equal to m plus 2 and x to the power m because n minus 2 is equal to m so this now change this dummy uh, index m by n again change this 
so n equals to 0 to infinity n plus 2 n plus 1 c n plus 2 x to the power n so this term is this and uh, here x x to the power n minus 2 first term is x to the power n so no change here x to the power n minus 2 we change this by this and third term x to the power n so no change here but fourth term x to the power n plus 1 so uh, so we want to hear x to the power n so change this fourth term so for the fourth term for the fourth term fourth term fourth term sum is sum n equals to 0 to infinity c n x to the power n plus 1 8 plus 1 so now here put m equal to n n plus 1 so n equal to m minus 1 so when n equals to 0 n equals to 0 so m equal to 1 so change the limit from mm, n is equal to 0 that is equal to m equal to in terms of m is equal to 1 to infinity and c n so put n m minus 1 and x to the power n plus 1 that is equal to m get this and again change the dummy index dummy variable m in place of n is equal to 1 to infinity c n minus 1 x to the power n so combining all this again and you get from the above relation you get this so we get combining all this starting from n equals to 2 to infinity n n minus 1 into c n x to the power n minus second term change with this n is equal to 0 to infinity n plus 2 into n plus 1 c n plus 2 x to the power n x to the power n x to the power n and third term is 3 into summation n equals to 1 to infinity n c n x to the power n and last term fourth term n equals to 1 to infinity c n minus 1 x to the power n equals to 0 here uh, note that here x to the power n x to the power n x to the power n and x to the power n all x to the power n all this uh, in the term all all in this term now here uh, this start from n equal to 2 here starts from n equal to 0 here starts from n equal to 1 here starts from n equal to 1 so we all the terms starts from n is equal to 2 so this term uh, or first term start from n equal to 2 to infinity n into n minus 1 into c n into x to the power n minus this term start from n equal to 0 so uh, put here n is equal to 0 so first put here n equal to 0 so you get 0 2 0 1 so 2 into so 0 so 2 c 0 plus 2 so this 2 and x x to the power 0 so this is 1 and next start uh, put here n is equal to 1 for here here this n is equal to 0 this term is n is equal to 0 so put here n is equal to 1 so you get uh, 1 plus 2 3 and 1 plus 1 uh, 2 so 3 to 6 6 and n is equal to 1 so this is equal to 6 3 c 3 and x to the power n is equal to 1 so x to the power 1 that is x so this term for n is equal to 1 and next summation starts from n is equal to 2 so this similarity you get so this term starts from n is equal to 2 to infinity and this as usual this n plus 2 n plus 1 and c n plus 2 n plus 2 x to the power n this so uh, so from the second term uh, we get this 2 c 2 for n is equal to 0 6 c 3 x for n is equal to 1 
and sum is n is equal to infinity since uh, we want to the similarity uh, for the summation n is equal to 2 to infinity so here first term n is equal to 2 to infinity and so we get from the second term n is equal to 2 to infinity and from third term so here start from n is equal to 1 so uh, first uh, find put here n is equal to 1 so 3 n is equal to 1 c1 x to the power 1 so this x so here you get this n is equal to 1 this term is n is equal to 1 and the second term start from n equal to 2 so we get the similarity for this n equal to 2 to infinity and 3 into n into cn x to the power n from the third term this and the, for the last term here start from n equal to 1 so uh, you taken out the one term for n is equal to 1 uh, so this put here n is equal to 1 so you get this n is equal to 1 n equal to 1 put here n equal to 1 so n equal to 1 uh, so c0 and x to the power 1 so this first term is c0 c0 x to the power 1 that is equal to x plus next term starting from n equal to 2 so this n equal to 2 to infinity cn minus 1 x to the power n so all summations are starting from n is equal to 2 to infinity this equals to 0 so now collect this term so this is the constant term this only term 2c2 and this term is for x this term is for x this term is for x so first we collect the term constant term so this for the constant term only minus 2c2 and plus plus this taking the common x so you get minus 6 c3 uh, plus 3 c1 and plus c0 coefficient of x this and then we common we take the common summation n is equal to 2 summation n is equal to 2 to infinity so 2 to infinity so from this term first term 2 to infinity this term n into n minus 1 cn x to the power n so right here first term is this n into n minus 1 cn cn plus plus no no minus minus n plus 2 into n plus 1 into c n plus 2 from this term this term this term negative sign here so a summation n plus 2 n plus 1 into c n plus 2 this term and this term 3 n c n x to the power n plus 3 n 3 n c n x to the power n and next fourth term from the fourth term this c n minus 1 c n minus 1 so from fourth term plus c n minus 1 into full bracket into x to the power n this equals to 0 so uh, this n is this this is this now uh, this from this identity so right hand side is 0 so this this 2 c2 must be 0 and this coefficient of x must be 0 and coefficient of x to the power n also must be 0 so uh, this is valid this is this to be valid this is to be valid to be valid for all x in the in the interval of convergence interval interval of convergence convergence what is the x modulus of x minus x0 less than r here x0 is 0 also and the coefficient of each power of x the coefficient of 
h power of x in the left hand side must be equated to 0 must be equated to 0 and so so from this left hand side this 2 c2 constant term this was obviously 0 and this minus coefficient of x this also is equal to 0 and coefficient of x to the power n in this summation series is also equal to 0. So from this you get minus 2 c2 equals to 0 and and second term is this minus 6 c3 plus 3 c1 plus c0 is equals to 0 and lastly this from this uh, this from this n n into n minus 1 cn um, and um, this n minus 1 cn equal to this equal to 0 so you get last term from this last term uh, this equal to n into n minus 1 plus 3n into cn minus n plus 2 into n plus 1 into cn plus 2 plus cn minus 1 this equal to 0. So from this c2 must be equal to 0 and from this c2 minus must be equal to 0 and this term obviously noted that this term for n greater than or equal to 2 because this series star runs from n equal to 2 from this series. So, from the second equation you get so this uh, c3 equal to c3 equal to you get this c3 is equal to uh, c3 c1 plus c0 is equal to um, 3 c1 plus c0 divided by divided by 6 divided by 6. So, c3 equal to c3 equal to c0 by 6 plus c1 by 2. So, c3 equal to this c0 by 6 and this and c2 is equal to 0. And last from the recurrence lesson, uh, from the recurrence lesson, so you get cn plus 2. So, from the recurrence lesson, this cn plus 2 equals to cn plus 2 is equal equals to this n square minus n <coughs> plus 3n. So, this is equal to 2n. 2n. So, n minus 2 plus 3 n common. So, this is equal to n common n plus 2 into cn from this term. This term. And uh, this term from this term plus c n minus 1 and divided by divided by n plus 2 into n plus 1 is the this so and obviously n greater than or equal to 2 only greater than 2 now from this record relation, relation first put n equal to 2 so put n equal to 2 in the above recurrence lesson you get c 2 plus 2 that is 4 equals to put here n equal to 2 so you get 8 2 plus 2 2 4 4 to 8 8 c 2 plus c 1 divided by 12 this is equal to c 1 by 12 because because c 2 equal to 0 c 2 equals to 0 already we get here uh, c2 equals to 0 so put here c2 equals to 0 so c1 by 12 so relation this c4 equal to c12 c1 by 12 c1 by 12 and put in the above relation a recurrence relation put n equal to 3 so 3 plus 2 5 so c5 equals to c5 equals to after simplification you get 15 c3 plus c2 divided by 20 so here c2 equal to 0 so you get 
3 c3 by 4 since c2 equals to 0 since c2 equals to 0 now this value of c3 is given by this relation c3 is equal to c0 by 6 plus c1 by 2 so put here value of c3 so put this 3 by 4 into c3 value of c3 is c0 by 6 plus c1 by 2 so the simplification you get c0 by 8 plus 3 c1 by 8 so value of c5 is equal to c5 or c5 equal to c0 by 8 plus 3 c1 by 8 this is the value of c5 value of c5 and and so on and so on and so on so substituting these values of c is substituting these c is in two parts solution so we get we get y equals to sorry y equals to y equals to c0 plus c1 x plus c2 x square plus c3 x cube plus c4 x to the power 4 and plus c5 x to the power 5 and plus so on to up to infinity is a form of the power series so put here here c0 c0 plus c1 x c1 x plus 0 into x square because c2 equal to 0 plus value of c3 is equal to c0 by 6 plus c1 by 2 into x cube plus value of c4 so c4 is equal to c1 by 12 c1 by 12 x to the power 4 plus c5 c5 is c0 by 8 plus 3 c1 by 8 into x to the power 5 and plus dot dot up to infinity and c6 c6 so we get only two uh, arbitrary constants here we just collect the term c0 so first term is 1 plus here c0 so this is equal to x cube by 6 plus this c0 so x to the power 5 by 8 and plus up to infinity and and collect the term for c1 so c1 into x plus this c1 so plus x cube by 2 plus c1 is x to the power 4 by 12 and this c1 for this c1 3 x to the power 5 by 8 and plus dot dot to up to infinity so and this is the answer so y equal to this y equal to this and this is the answer uh, this is the general solution uh, of the given differential equation in the power series about the point x equal to 0 is an ordinary point call it equation 3 so where where c0 and c1 are arbitrary constants constants and the solution the solution 3 solution 3 is the general solution general solution of the given differential equation of the given differential equation uh, given differential equation in powers of x in powers of x now lastly we get uh, we have already uh, we have the two initial conditions and note that uh, this uh, this coefficient of c0 this in terms of x this infinite series is also a particular solution of the given series is also a particular solution of the given series now uh, we want to find the constant c0 and c1 with the help of the initial conditions so we have the initial conditions now we have the initial conditions initial conditions y0 equal to 4 that means y equal to 4 at the point x0 at the point x0 
so uh, when put here uh, x equal to 0 so this put here x equal to 0 so you get the value of c0 so from 3 and this is the value of c0 this is the value of c0 so from 3 from 3 from 3 and uh, put put all uh, put x equal to 0 so from 3 uh, you get only uh, the y equal to c0 so this is the value of c0 is 4 and next condition uh, now uh, next condition is y dash y dash 0 so of uh, uh, differentiate uh, uh, 3 this equation 3 um, series 3 in terms of uh, with respect to x term wise differentiation so differentiating 3 term wise we get y double y dash equals to c0 3 x square by 6 plus 5 x to the power 4 by 8 plus dot 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 to infinity plus c1 1 plus 3 x square by 2 plus 4 x cube by 12 plus up to infinity dot dot to infinity this now from the second initial condition second initial condition second initial condition uh, y dash 0 equals to 6 so put uh, in this relation x equal to 0 call it 4 this equation is called 4 so put in the equation 4 x equal to 0 so all 0 so only you get only the value of c1 so this x 0 this x 0 so all this x 0 so y dash 0 means give this the gives the value of c1 from 4 from 4 so uh, by the given initial conditions uh, you get the value of c0 and c1 thus uh, thus the solution thus the solution thus the solution of the given initial value problem of the given initial value problem initial value problem um, is is y equals to um, c0 is 4 so put here 4 bracket 1 plus x cube by 6 plus x to the power 5 by 8 plus up dot dot to infinity and plus value of c1 is 6 so put here 6 plus x plus x cube by 2 plus x to the power 4 by 12 plus dot 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 to infinity and after simplification you will get the result this combining this all these 4 this constant term plus 6 into x plus 11 by 3 into x cube plus x to the power 4 by 2 plus 11 by 4 into x to the power 5 and plus dot 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 dot, dot up to infinity and this is the uh, initial value problem this is the particular solution of the given differential equation is this this is the required answer okay this completes to